Sometimes the question comes up, what is the difference between a trustee and being a trustee emeritus, and how does fiduciary responsibility relate to those two positions? The essence of fiduciary responsibility comes to your ability and responsibility to vote on matters that are before you. So you could be a non-voting member of a board of trustees. Sometimes the president will be an ex officio non-voting member of the board of trustees. That president may have fiduciary duty just by being president, but as a trustee, they won't have that responsibility. So in general, trustees emeritus do not have voting rights. It's an honorary position. The idea is to say, you know, Joe or Janet have been phenomenal trustees, have been such great donors to the institution. We really want to recognize them. We'll give them this title of trustee emeritus. Most of the time, it's purely honorary. Sometimes it does uh, bring along the opportunity to participate in board meetings, at least to sit in, ask a question, that sort of thing, but should never be confused with voting responsibility and true fiduciary duty. Trustees emeriti do not have fiduciary responsibilities. It's an honorary position. It's not something that the law recognizes as having a fiduciary duty. So you really want to draw the line that way.